Welcome guys to Sailor Koshik. It's been uh, almost uh, one and a half years since I've uploaded any video. I recently uploaded a video while uh, visiting a temple. But uh, this video is not about uh, visiting a temple. It's about what all problems I faced during my second match. Uh, if people have subscribed earlier, they would have uh, seen my video regarding my uh, last vessel as an rating. My rank was an AB. As an AB, I was uh, sailing on that vessel. So, come let's uh, get into car and discuss uh, details about how my life has changed during uh, this period from what you say while uh, from rating to officer what all things have changed like uh, what I have been through such situations has uh, occurred like many things uh, went wrong but I like to guide you guys that uh, from rating you can uh, promote it to officer but there are certain steps which you need to follow let's get into car and we'll have a chit chat this car is just like a home just like a home to me so this is my first car this is honda city zx 2008 model it's been like uh, almost uh, five years owning this car but i don't feel like uh, selling this car because i had some attachments to this with this car so basically guys uh, ratings who are appearing for second mates who wish to apply for second mates there are two options basically you can apply from india or else you can apply from uk so time consumed in Mumbai is like uh, it will take approx one and a half year if you plan well but in case if you fail in certain subjects then you are uh, supposed to clear your second mates uh, within two years so now it has been almost two years since uh, my last vessel sign off like uh, what I did was I signed off in July 2022. So after July 2022 and now it is around March uh, 2024. So basically I will guide you guys how I planned my uh, second mate's exams. So I started with my first is assessment files. So I required 36 months of sailing. I already did 39 months of sailing. So basically I completed my sea time for appearing for second mates and there's one more requirement one more requirement is like you'll you'll need to have a pcm physics chemistry math, maths uh, science subject and english should be at least 40 percent that is basic criteria for joining your uh, what do you say basically like english one is uh, basically for a gp rating course but for second mates exam if you want to appear in india you need pcm physics chemistry maths science subject so if you have PCM, then you can appear from India. Otherwise, you have option like UK. But uh, in UK, you'll have to spend like hefty money. Around 20, 25 lakhs. If you fail, then you have to appear for exams. For appearing, reappearing for exams, you will uh, need at least uh, 15,000 rupees in your hand for per paper if you fail. And these all things I have... Uh, these all things my friends used to tell me who appeared from UK. Whereas in uh, India, for reappearing, it takes only 1000 rupees, 2000 rupees. Overall cost, food, traveling, plus uh, books, stationery, everything. These all expenses went up to 4 lakhs, 3.5 to 4 lakhs. But staying at home for two years is not a cup of tea like not uh, like drinking a cup of tea it's very difficult you have to manage your family you have to manage your expenses 
like now if you see that balance is bank balance is now almost finished off now there's no money left only money left is for applying my coc and till now until now my one return is pending and one oral is pending navigation oral is pending so basically i have to clear those exams anyhow i have no options and i have to join my vessel so this is my only chance that i have and today i am here in gujarat gujarat like i am at my native's place so due to some work i am here so today i'll be leaving gujarat and also i will be leaving this car here only because this car stays here only because uh, in mumbai there is no space for parking this car so at my place this car stays here and remains here for 8 months 8 to 9 months she remains here then she is very trustworthy car like if you give yourself you have fuel enough then she will start but uh, hopefully next time when we meet she will start again as it starts now basically yaar if you want to give from uk you you have you should have enough money and like parent support also as well as uh, you should not be married because if you are married you will have uh, many responsibilities while in india there are certain friends who appeared exam who had child also, also but they face uh, difficulties like they rejoin vessels after completing their ncv course so now let's start with how we we are supposed to start like how many courses are there how many exams you have to appear how many orals are there so these all are confusion these people are confused like i was also confused but after joining my foundation course uh, i got a clarity so basically you start start your journey with like good planning you first plan you plan properly then you go ahead with exams like planning is very important initially what you do is first you need assessment and that you will get it from mmd and for that you will require tar book then sea service company sea service letter then uh, watch keeping certificate port watch certificate cdc stamp passport sa- stamps and steering certificates this all you need to make a file and then you need to upload it uh not uploaded you have to send it by courier earlier we used to visit mmds but now you visit you don't need to visit mmd you just need to courier it and they will send you an acknowledge and uh, send your assessment later on uh, your uh, what you say your email they'll send it on your email so after all this stuff you will get your assessment letter and on that it will mention you are eligible for second mate foundation and cv and second wait fg once all this stuff is completed now you have supposed to start planning it and plan start planning like uh, how i am supposed to start start with your foundation course foundation is nothing but your physics chemistry and maths pcm uh, and one more subject is that uh, that is uh, electronics uh, that is uh, not so interesting but uh, you have to study if you want to clear your exams then uh, you need to study your foundations uh, electronic uh, subject and in foundation there are four subjects total pcm is same what we did uh, earlier in 12th and electronics is little bit different like you uh, people who are uh, who are interested in technically technical things will uh, much appreciate that subject but most of the them people most of the people don't like that uh, electronic subject but it's okay yaar you gain certain uh, knowledge and after completing your foundation after uh, one month gap there is uh, your exams so i did my foundation in lbs lal bahadur shastri in uh, sivri so faculty is good they teach you very well and after completing my foundation i joined ncv course nwko ncv and nwko ncv is again four months course foundation is two months course 
So six months are gone. But NCV helps you to build your foundation very well. Like if your foundation is strong, then uh, nobody fucking nobody will uh, like able to uh, what you say. If your foundation is strong, then uh, you won't fall. Like if you ever fell down, then you will able to walk again. But if your foundation is weak, then you are at starting only you will fail. You will fall. Correct. So basically NCV is for building up your foundation. Same subjects are there. Second mate NCV, NWKO NCV. Uh, second mate FG and NC, NCV has same subjects. But there are certain topics which are not taught in uh, this uh, fucking uh, NCV course. And those topics get completed in your second mates. So second mates is like revision. But there are certain things which you are not being taught in NWK or NCV. So you are supposed to be uh, thorough with those things, NCV things. Then you are supposed to uh, go ahead with second mate. So say NCV you need to clear your returns. And after clearing your returns, what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to send an application that Sir, my NWK or NCV has completed my Second mate foundation has completed. Kindly open my portal for second mate FG. Once your portal is open, then you are at like uh, at same level like as a cadet. You also have your uh, what you say online window open. So from online window, you can book your course exams everything. From there only you have to book. No need to visit MMDs again and again for booking your orals and all. So once you clear your FG, uh, NCV and foundation, then your second match FG window will get open. And after uh, getting uh, this window open, then you are su you are supposed to know what you will be like. You have to clear your return, then second match overall, and finally you will have license. But most important thing is are your modular courses. Modular courses will only take three months. Like ratings people uh, they already had sailed five years so they are dc stcw courses everything got expect now again we have to do those courses and after completing those courses again fucking you need to like uh, apply for dc and all stuff so more money is going to get into these things and mod for modular courses, uh, it will take around three months. As per my knowledge, uh, for me, it took three months. After completing on your modular courses, then you will be able to appear for your orals. So basically, it is going to take two years if you are appearing from India. If you are very smart enough and you clear your exams in very first attempt, then you will clear your exams in around one and a half years so basically it's up to you nobody is like very smart or very intelligent some people do catch up things very easily some people take time but have have your what you say have faith in you have trust in yourself and basically you will be able to clear your exam and basically join your vessel as a third officer junior officer so guys uh, all the best and this is this was my uh, video this was my experience uh, about exams from rating to officer i'll keep uploading videos on uh, subject certain subjects study subjects so do subscribe my channel and do like and share thank you